Lucky, there's a Family Guy. Welcome to Couch Cinema. We're counting down our picks for the top 10 songs from Family Guy. Reunited and it feels so good Doing someone that you used to do Before we begin, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at songs, both original and covers. We'll be ranking the entries based on how entertaining, catchy, inventive, and funny they are. Bad, 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 bad. We're off on the road to Rhode Island. Hear the music. Follow too fast to prepare for these. Tripping in the world could be dangerous. Everybody circling his vultures. Negative, nepotist. Everybody waiting for the fall of man. Everybody praying for the end of times. Everybody hoping they could be the one I was born to run. Number 10. Prom Night Dumpster Prom Baby. Night dumpster Baby. I got no mom or dad. Family Guy or Seth MacFarlane are never afraid to try anything weird or potentially offensive if it has the potential to be funny. And this song has it all. And though I came from a hole, and though we came from a hole, I'm singing right from the soul. We singing right from the soul. Appropriately sung by a baby abandoned in a dumpster on prom night, the number features the primary singing baby backed up by other abandoned infants who swing their umbilical cords like canes in what has to be one of the strangest things on Family Guy. This song's odd charisma and creative imagery make it a necessary pick. I'm taking a stroll. Number nine, Mr. Booze. Mr. Booze. Mr. Booze. When Peter and Brian convince their alcoholic anonymous members to start drinking in secret again, the group is surprisingly well prepared when the police arrive. They launch into a revival style musical number railing against the dangers of alcohol abuse. Cat shoes if you mess with Mr. Booze. Don't mess with Besides being a toe-tapping casting song with some improbably good choreography performed by drunks, the whole sequence is a lovely tribute to the near-identical movie Rat Pack, filmed by Robin and the Seven Hoods, in which bootleggers pull a similar stunt to avoid suspicion from the cops. What's that? Alcohol. Mr. Booze. Mr. Booze. Mr. Booze. Mr. B O Z. This may be the first entry on our list to demonstrate the show's love of older cinema, but it won't be the last. Number 8, Vasectomy. Vasectomy's a medical procedure. One that makes you half a man. You're half a man. After Peter expresses his unfamiliarity with what a vasectomy is, Brian calls in a barbershop quartet that was apparently waiting just outside the door to explain to him. And, well, I'm starting to get the picture, but how's it done? You make a small incision in the scrotal skin. Isolate the vas and then. Isolate the vas and then you hold it in position with a towel clamp. Then you snip the fibrous tissue. Then you snip the fibrous. Sung to the tune of Goodbye My Coin Island, vasectomy alternates between a detailed medical explanation on how it's done and an explanation on how the procedure somehow diminishes one's manhood. The song also goes on a significant tangent with the quartet suggestion that Peter got an affair and a disparaging sexual harassment seminar sung all in perfect unison. And it's like, why do you wear that if you don't want attention? But you know you shouldn't think that way because of the sexual harassment meeting you all had to go to. Family Guy tends to run jokes into the ground in a very amusing way, and this is a very perfect example. Goodbye to babies, goodbye. say goodbye to kids like me. Thank you, mount your sack. Number seven, Christmas time is killing us. The holiday feeling was killing us. But now instead all we're feeling is dread because Christmas time is killing us. Upon arrival at the North Pole, Stewie and Brian discover that Santa Claus and his elves are strung out and overworked from their grueling schedule. Shelf making playthings and selflessly thrilling us. Now they're on crack and it feels like you're wrecked because Christmas time is killing us. Saint Nick and company then deliver a credibly grim and dire song in which they reveal the less angelic side of the Christmas season, which concludes with most of the elves hanging themselves and Santa Claus throwing up blood. Each jingle bell is a requiem bell, and while you think it's swell, we are toiling in hell. While tending to include the other Christmas theme song from the episode, All I Really Want for Christmas, 
Jessica Beale and Megan Fox wearing nothing but their socks is all I really want for Christmas this year. Furthermore, but we had to go with the Grammy nominated tune for its more memorable, darker tone. <laughs> Number six, I need a Jew. Stitching speck of white, I need a Jew. When Peter is in need of financial advice, he sings about his wish to have someone, namely a stereotypical Jewish person, help him sort out his money and a number satirizing when you wish upon a star. Where to find a bomb or Stein or Stein? Besides being offensive, it's rather funny. I knew that you got the show in hot water in the form of a lawsuit, but not for the reason you think. The Bourne, who owns the rights to When You Wish Upon a Star, filed the suit claiming the new lyrics damage the original's integrity and infringe upon copyright. However, parody falls within the fair use, so Family Guy won the case, and this outrageous song continues to run in syndication. I need a you. Number 5. It's a wonderful day for pie. A wonderful day for pie. You the multiverse is full of musical possibilities with Brian and Stewie discovering their journey through the alternate realities. In one such, the duo encounters a version of their family that spontaneously bursts into a song about pie in a musical moment inspired by Disney. And they'll tell you real sweet with a musical tweet. It's a wonderful day for pie. For pie. For pie. For pie. Accompanied by visuals like anthropomorphic animals and objects, it's a wonderful day for pie pokes fun at the typical Disney musical style, but it's just as catchy, enchanting, and thrilling as the materials it copies. Wonderful, wonderful day for pie. Number four, you have AIDS. Have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. You got the AIDS. You may have caught it when you stuck that filth. Needle in here. It must have taken a special kind of demented genius to come up with this cutaway song. After Peter claims to be good at delivering bad news, the scene cuts to Peter leading a barbershop course that's serenading a poor AIDS patient about the fact that he has a terrible, incurable disease. Shady, but really full the song is catchy, upbeat, and in the worst possible taste, which caused several AIDS support organizations to throw shade at Family Guy. However, the fact that the song is so ironically tone deaf is what makes it so effectively cringeworthy and hilarious at the same time. Number three, a bag of weed. Listen if you would, when I tell you every person needs a way of feeling good. Brian attempts to get people aside to legalize marijuana at a park goes strangely unheard, so Stewie offers to spice it up a bit with an improvised musical number. Five, six, seven, eight. A bag of weed, a bag of weed, oh, everything is better with a bag. What follows is a cheerful and incredibly catchy song backed by a marching band, accompanied by creative choreography and fancy footwork and yet another example of Family Guy using a tune from a film of Bag of Weed based on the song Me O Bamboo by Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This countercultural melody plays its own unique trail though. Number two, Shapoopy. Damn it, Griffin! I said no showboating! When Peter joins the Patriots football team, he shows up a tad bit too much after scoring the touchdown. Shapoopy, Shapoopy, Shapoopy. The girls are hard to get. Shapoopy, Shapoopy, Shapoopy. But you can win her now. On one occasion, however, he manages to take it to a whole nother level entirely, launching into a rendition of Shapoopy, a song from the classic musical The Music Man. Shapoopy, Shapoopy, Shapoopy. He is really joined not only by the other players, but also by audience, referees, band, and even the viewers watching TV. This has to go down as one of the greatest and catchy songs in Family Guy history. Period. Before we unveil our number one, here are some honorable mentions. Besides, nobody's getting hurt. You gave me strength to stand alone again. We're off on the road to Rhode Island. Number one, the FCC song. In a manner such as this, they will make you take a tinkle when you want to take a pic. After Peter creates his own TV station, Lois calls in the FCC when his programming gets a bit too out of control. 
However, Peter's ready to shove it right back in her face and launches into a song, which is set to the tune of Volunteer Fireman's Picnic from the stage musical Take Me Alone. Take a tip, take a lesson, you'll never win by messing with the fellas at the freaking FCC. Peter, accompanied by Stewie and Brian, sings about America's Censorship Bureau and their draconian attempts to enforce decency upon television. Complete with clips of many times Family Guy has given decency to old, I don't give a fuck, you know that, right? With its infectious melody and funny visuals, this song is a hit with everyone, even the FCC itself, who unfortunately hasn't taken the hint. Do you agree with our picks? If not, comment down below. But make sure you check out even more awesome videos and make sure you subscribe to the channel.